Ah, uh, the Citadel. We meet once more. This time, maybe not under so great of circumstances, but whatever. I've got a bit of a sore throat, and I'm a tad, tad bit tired, but who the hell cares? We're... And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, man. Are you serious? And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. This chick needs to shut up. Can I disapprove her request to get a change to any fucking sector at all? Maybe you should go guard the Hanar worlds. You know, go for a little swim. Shut up, Keeper. Get away from me. Right, so yeah. Yeah, who cares? We're gonna, we're gonna be on the sit-up for a while because apparently we have to talk to everybody and I just walked by Garrus. Where is Garrus? Oh. I can't fucking tell! You're feeling up to it. I thought we could do something fun for a change. Oh. Oh, you me walking around the Citadel and talking to everybody isn't fun? Fine. Come on. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. <laughs> but then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. That's great! You having ideas besides calibrations? Okay. Are we gonna get a use out of this car? That's something good. That doesn't look nearly like the same kind of car. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Mm. Too busy trying to live. Mm? What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC. I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So wait, what are we doing up there? We're just gonna chill out on top of one of the things? Alright, that's... I figured it's Chill. time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You're fucking insane. You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and <laughs> splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Okay. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. Did make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? You're a good friend, Garrus. Because you're a bro. Super bro. Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. Garrus, me and you... You're not going we go to back. propose marriage now, what? are you? What? No. <laughs> you got Liara, now, I got Tally. Before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. Oh. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun. Just saying some of us know how to make it dance. I'm an infiltrator. Sniper so rifles? Find My thing. Really the best shot. All right. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. <laughs> All right, Perian, you're going down. <laughs> and don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. Ooh! That was Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. Okay. I should just, like, shoot my biotics off at it, make it fucking go a mile. Whoosh! I said a tough one. How are we doing this? Step aside. What are we doing? Oh. Uh, miss on purpose. Bitch, please. Do it. Whoosh! Woo! Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. <laughs> technically. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> I 
I could have missed to boost up his self-esteem, but I don't need to do that. We're bros. Guy can be like, I'm Commander Shepard, bitch, and Garrus will be like, yeah, I know, whatever. So it's all good. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go down and talk to Javik, because that sounds like fun. Talk to Javik and then talk to Miranda, because I guess that's also fun. Not nearly as much as talking to Garrus, though. Alright, talk to Javik. Javik, what's up? Mister, I paid ten dollars for you. What's up? Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. Yep. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Unless we win this war, it'll be the last time any of us see the Citadel. Soak this in while you can, Javik. Do not be so dismissive, Commander. I didn't think I'd be so, so dismissive. The things you have lost will be the things you would kill to have back. Such as? Order. The rule of law. From here, our empire dictated the course of the galaxy. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? Yeah. That's it's not perfect. generally it's how it is. Most of the time. Holy shit, it's a Hanar. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Protheum. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. <laughs> oh, God. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. Ooh. Oh, boy. Now really then now. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is how it begins. I am. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? Well, he's alive. For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being... Nope. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. I just don't want him to, like, sadden everybody. You were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. You have just impressed the three Master, aliens. It must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. Caves I've are pretty boss, time. man. I live in a cave. Young. I will see you a high-tech cave. Alright, bye, Javik. <laughs> and there go my eyes! Look at that! Like, fucking barely anything, and now they're back to brown. It just goes- it's just like, sometimes my eyes will be brown, sometimes they'll be red, or maybe they're still red. I can't tell, because... It's got that stupid camera shit where it's just like, I'm gonna be above your head, but I want to look at me! Get a closer view, you know? Wait, I can just do this. No, okay, my eyes are still red. Alright. Oh, hey! Didn't realize I could put some points in the stuff. Alright. I still don't know what to do here. I think I'm just gonna go for explosive hack, because I really don't need that. Okay. Swag. I need to stop saying swag. I don't know why I've said it so much lately. <laughs> One day I'll start a swag counter. Ooh. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. Um, you know, not to bust your non-existent balls or anything like that, but wouldn't sending her back to Thessia, the sorry homeworld, be the worst possible thing you could ever do at this time? It's not sending her back home, per se. It's sending her back to the place the Reapers are most likely to attack. I'd keep her on the Citadel. But, you know what? Well, whatever. Did, just did, Maybe they won't attack this. Yeah. I highly doubt it, but... Shh, whatever. Uh, talk to Bailey, because Bailey's cool. I'd rather talk to Bailey than Miranda. What's up, Bailey? Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Oh, he's got still the same thing. Okay. We're gonna go talk to Miranda. Is she actually gonna be in the Spectre offices? Or is it gonna be like a hollow call? I think it's gonna be a hollow call. Yeah, of course it is. What's up? Where is she? That's his terminal. Yep, there we go. Spectre requisitions. Don't care. Spectre terminal. Volus Ambassador Din Corlac's current location is unknown. An office suite near the human embassy. Oh. Okay. Message terminal. <laughs> Did you see your fucking model teleported? Okay. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Hi, Miranda. Right. What's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Yes. Where is she? I don't know that yet. But my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. Doing a what? horrible job at that. Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Okay. Nice. Not, not even subtle, Bioware. Whatever. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. <sighs> I'm only accepting it because I like doing missions. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. Can you get her ass out of my face, God? I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. <sighs> Are you sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Okay, bye, Miranda. Give me a mission, please. I, that, that's all I care about. No, I, I'm sorry. I just don't really care about Miranda. And the A lot of people jumped on my throat about letting Samara die. Even yet, at the same time, people were jumping on my throat for being so nice. I that can't please everyone. But, hey, I had a perfectly legitimate excuse for letting Samara die. And I probably would have saved her had circumstances been different. But whatever. What's up? Was the Bolas ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Do it. Hello, whoever is here. Oh, no, he laughed already. All right. Well, this place seems all right, considering there was an explosion here earlier. Play entry one. Because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. 
Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. I hate you, Cerberus, we so fucking much. To reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador it's just... Karnak. Yeah. We ask that you trust us a little longer. I, I... The problem with Cerberus... Is that they went from... A group that was kind of like half terrorist, but they still got the job done. Like, they went through extreme measures, and now they're just fucking insane. It, it, they, they've kind of become one-sided in that way. Like, who the hell f There was different layers to Cerberus in the previous games. Like, even in Mass Effect 1, you're like, okay, they want to help out humanity. Okay, here's a room full of fucking experiments and shit. What? Huh. And now it's just... Fuck yeah, kill everything! Civilians, get the fuck out of the way. Gah. But, oh well. Play entry two. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. Uh, huh? The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Okay. Zaid. Go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Huh. Zaid. That's interesting. Well, this uh, this 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 mission just like got really high up on the scale of what I need to do. Uh, wait, what the fuck do I do? Is there another terminal that I access or? What? Ah. Here we go. Left it here by accident. Well, not by accident. How long till we killed Kolak? Once the credits go through. Was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Oh boy. Here we go. What's Zaid up? used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Aha! Here we go. <laughs> Man, he was on to us pretty quickly. What? Well, ideally, something like a cacliosaur. They're good in mountains, immune to. Oh my God! Another fucking thing to do. Uh. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. Okay, I'm going into the the the, the thing. 
Time to meet with Zaid. Wrong door. Oh. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is that firing sound shit going on? Hey! Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. What happened? Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Oh, we must have missed some dialogue because I came so fast. I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You should have gone to C-Sec if your life was in danger. And be thrown into prison? No. The things they would do to me after the damage I caused. What intel did you give Cerberus on this colony? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But... If I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Who cares? Turn, you already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. Beat him, Zaid. All right. I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. <laughs> you mind, Zaid? It'll be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for him. It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Take it. It's all yours, I promise. Yes. War assets. Security about this incident. <laughs> I like war assets. You have my thanks. So, Zaid. Long enough to spit that out. What's up with Zaid, you? What are you doing here? Later, C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Okay. Interesting armor the setup, by the way. Like. Well, I got a free trip to the Presidium, so I guess I'll check out who the hell's down here. Uh, Liar is by the Meridian Marketplace. Okay. We'll go check it out. I don't know if the, if anywhere has um, new things, but oh well. What's up? The clutch is stabilized. Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatch after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. Shepherd. Shepherd. <laughs> That'd be a really interesting name for a Solarian. Okay. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Gawasha. Or Kawashi Visor. Okay, nothing. Sniper rifle piercing mod, nothing. Alright. So, Liara, what's up? You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. We all do stupid things as kids. There's no denying that, but in a way, I was lucky. My mother scolded me, but she also bought me my first history book the next day. Oh. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. 
You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. Yeah. I wish we could spend Paragon more time options. together like this. Just friends. Just friends. And it'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that works. Okay. Hello, Shepard. Goodbye, Liara. All right, let's move on over to Caden. Oh, he's over here by the Apollo's Cafe. All right. Well, I'm going to do more looking into the place, even though I know that there's nothing going to be there. Yeah. How much money do I have? 140,000. Oh, my God. That's a lot of stuff. Too bad. We don't care about any of it. Best in the business, come to Casa. What? Of course. P O R A E. Oh. Realize you can't tell me where she was deployed. Oh, I know. Can you inform me if she's under orders not to communicate with her family? Weshra, I have an audio mm. log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. You're welcome. Okay, now that we've got that one resolved, come over here, check out, see if there's anybody I can talk to. Anybody? Nope, nope, none at all. All right. Time to talk to Caden. And where, where's Caden? Caden is over here. Sup? Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. We did one mission. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And oh shit! Sad music just started. Moments like this, with people I care about. We have to be serious. Caden, what's going on with you? How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me, and grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Okay. Well, we need to talk. Let's talk. What are you drinking? <laughs> If you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. <laughs> and my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Caden's... Yeah. Caden's Canadian. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good I about think... our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Used to that. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Uh. Really? Okay. No, it's true. I mean, some people even find my, uh, integrity annoying. <laughs> really? No, Why do you think keep people keep killing you off? Okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Please don't be coming okay. on to me. I know you're buying okay. this game now. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander. And I value your friendship. Thanks, man. That's... that's... Don't... No. Tally. Okay. That means a lot. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. Whew! Dodge the bullet! Okay. As, 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 as interesting as it would be to uh, buy a relationship in this game as a guy. Uh, I guess it's not really a buy relationship anymore, right? You just might as well just be eh, straight up cock on cock action. No! Tally. Tally. Uh, we're probably going to meet her in the very next priority mission. Right. I think I'm going down to the docks. Yep, docks. Holding area. 
<sighs> Tally takes forever to show up, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, well. Whoosh. Whoosh. So I think we're doing pretty good in our odds. Um, I played a bit more multiplayer, and now I have over 95% galactic readiness. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. And I, I do still feel like I should record it, but you know how it is. You play some multiplayer, you're playing with some bros, you just want to chill. It's not the same if you're recording, so yeah. Why in the fuck do you have your shirt off, James? James? Oh, he's getting ink. Commander, what brings you down here? Batarians give ink? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. Oh, okay. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fail? <laughs> your trainer? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. It's funny, because really? I don't bring you on any missions. Sure. <laughs> the good advice. All right. Well. Don't take this lightly, Vega. I'm not, and I won't. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Don't just tell me. Show me. Yes, sir. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on. But I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! So! How's that guy doing? He's still dying slowly back there? Alright. Zaid, My man! What is up? What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Sweet. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. That'd be great, bro. I, I wish I could have, like, an actual conversation with you, but I guess this is what Bioware's just gonna give me. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. Who were those people you were with? Oh. Well, nope, nope. If that's all you're gonna say. Alright, bye. Nice catching up with you. Who the hell is Tactus? Tactus is in... This holding bay. Wait, what? James is... He was over... Right. Okay. Tactus! Sup? Nice purple. I you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Uh, yeah. My mission is our only hope to turn back the Reapers. I need every edge I can get, and that includes your equipment. And the supplies I have to offer are just what your people need. Think this through, Tactus. Okay, okay, I see your point. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Thank you, Renegade Option. All right. So, I guess that's, that's all we're doing down here. Alright. James is no longer losing over here. Yeah. Okay. What's up? You gonna, you, you gonna have a conversation? Talk about stuff? Mmm. Oh, right. You did. You did. You talked about the Prothean artifact in this stuff. 
Right, okay. Oh, it's you, hi! You're standing right there, what do you mean? Oh, it's you, hi! That doesn't make any sense. Ugh. Alright, so what do we have left? Uh, I think we're probably gonna have to go to... The Purgatory. Yeah, okay, we go to the Purgatory and we're actually done with the Citadel! Amazingly, it only took like 30 to 40 minutes. Probably a few more to talk to Joker and Edie. See what's up with them. And then after that, I'm gonna go get something to eat. It's lunchtime, and I haven't eaten since freaking breakfast. Obviously, yeah. I've watched reports oh. on some of the things you're fighting. Well, it won't stop a reaper, but an extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors. The best. They don't skip on plating either. I love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I can take point more often now. That is not something you want to be talking to with your girlfriend slash wife. Maybe I can be the one that goes in first more. Yeah, don't do that. I wouldn't. Just saying. Uh, where is Edie and Joe up there having drink together? Oh, howdy. What's up, officer? Commander, I was just about to get us another round. How does she drink? So. Oh god, the like fucking UI really option's fun. still there. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. <laughs> After your okay. his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. These are dangerous times. Make the most of it. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. How do you drink? How does that work? How? You just introduced me as your personal assistance mech. Yeah, well, it's the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Edie. Your turn. Counselor Irissa. Not hot. Too much makeup. Not really my thing. Shaira, the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Delatras Linron. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, okay, okay. okay. repeating dialogue. Alright, so I guess we're pretty done here. We talked to everybody that we could, even though everyone was pretty adamant about taking a break. Okay, that didn't really mean new things would pop up on here. Okay, let's get out. I'm gonna get back on the Normandy. Check out my private terminal, see if I got any messages, and... I'm gonna go make a sandwich or something, cause... God, I'm hungry. Okay. Elevator. Elevator. Normandy deck. I wish I could go straight to the elevator, or to the... <laughs> I wish I could go straight to the Normandy rather than going all the way to the docks and stuff. But, Sergeant, oh well. I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor. Man. Ooh. Okay, I see what's up. She doesn't want to fight Cerberus because she's afraid she'll have to fight her brother. Her little brother. Alright. Of course Dr. Chakos wants to speak to me. Okay. <sighs> okay. Anything else? The project received some new tech from the Asari government. 
I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Okay. Commander. Alright, I'm gonna look at the war assets real quick and then food. Okay. If only the war assets were like right there. That'd be nice. So. Sup. Oh, gotta go to the other side. There we go. Okay. Look at this beautiful 96%. God, I think we're more than ready. Okay. Sorry, commandos, 20. Psh. Crucible, optimized ESO capacitors. War map. We're not, we're, I'm, up, I'm uploading at the moment, so it's just not going to show it. Um, I had, I actually got everything up to 100%, and then it dropped down to 96% within the last day. Commander. That was interesting, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, I think I'll just talk to Tacos first. We just went to the Citadel, and she said hello, Shepard, which is the galactic sign of I've got nothing else to say to you at the moment. Yeah. Let me talk to Chakwa. She's probably going to be like, let's drink. Because we've done that before. Yeah. You always pull through, Commander. Oh, right. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Cliff. Cool. Okay. Anything else? Oh, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Because it was his destiny to fucking try to betray everyone? Yeah, probably. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Yeah. Good to see you, Commander. Okay, bye. Uh, is anyone on, on this deck that's really weird? Garrus and Javik are back in the lounge. Right, okay. Talk to Glyph. Well, not really talk to Glyph. Go into the room with Glyph to get my upgrades and... Fucking food. Excellent find, Commander. Okay. We'll erase all your scarring from your cybernetic implants. Psh, no. Okay. Ammo capacity or weapon damage. Ooh. Well, I've been pretty pretty adamant about weapon damage, so we're just going to go with that again. Uh, med bay surgery. Health boot bonus, because I don't want to heal my scars. Aw, oh, yeah. Information network terminal has been updated. Um, bulk purchases of a lot of things. Oh, he's still using his old rifle. Hello, Shepard. That's that's adorable. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. But let me see if there's anything new with these guys. Sup, Commander? How's it going? Nope, that's what I figured. <laughs> Crew seems pretty dead sometimes. Oh well. Okay. Beer back. 